Hey y'all, for those of you that know, it is time for my Black Friday unboxing where I take this knife, I open those boxes, and I show you what's inside. I'm gonna throw you on this chesty, and we're gonna follow along. So uh, stay tuned, there's a lot of good stuff inside. So uh, let's get after it. All right, here's the stack. Let's start. First box, 240.30. This is what I do for Black Friday. And the whole point of doing this is I'm gonna buy this stuff regardless throughout the year. But this is on discount. So now I don't have to pay as much for what I do. So I just wait until I get to Black Friday and I buy my yearly stock. So let's get into this. These are some new baits for me. Fritz side fives right there. Um, they make a clicking one and a silent one. So one's got like a little rattle in it. And one doesn't. Um, kind of recently fell in love with these baits. They're actually really, really good. Um, next up, I got an A-Rig. There should be five of these A-Rigs in there. I didn't necessarily need to buy A-Rigs, but when they're on sale, and uh, if you guys watched the video that I just made, I casted one off from line pipe from, uh, you know, being a poor fisherman, basically. Um, next up is Dobbins Beast, half ounce. These, I've really come to like these spinner baits. Um, oh, that actually reminds me, I forgot. This is Kentucky Blue is that color. It is um, the same as the one I just pulled. I buy everything's in twos. Just like you see, this is too. This is uh, Shimmer Shad. Um, I really like these for the Delta, and clearly, like they have a nice thicker hook. You can see there, and um, they really take a beating pretty well. I buy half ounce so that I can get them at a decent speed and still dredge them through the stuff. Here is another one in white with the um, one gold. It's usually what I prefer is to have one gold. Um, these are both whites also. I already have a couple other colors in that. Um, these are Booyah baits. If you guys know, if you guys are familiar with the Excalibur baits, these are actually, from what I understand, made from the same mold and um, yeah, they look identical. So I definitely believe that they are the same mold. I am a Excalibur lipless fan, so I figured I'd buy these. Um, this is in the one knocker. As you can see, it's just got that single knock and then these are regulars, so it's just like the normal knock. Um, this is in a Rayburn Red in the one knock because I already have the regular Excaliburs. Then this is Bling or something like that. Yeah, I think it's Bling is what this is. It's kind of a shaddy color basically. And then Silver Blue back. Can't go wrong with this. I actually am going to start going back to throwing this. I just recently realized why have I not been throwing this color? It has always done good. So. This is going to get picked back up. Here's another Fritz side in Citrus Shad, basically. Uh, I forgot what they call it. Sexy back. Citrus Shad is what I call it. Um, and this is the non clicker. This is silent. As silent as I can while shaking it. Uh, Fritz side five in 
Ghost, this is the non-rattle. I already have the rattle, so this fills it in. And here we go with Special Red Craw. This is for Delta. It's 100% for Delta. And then this is the same thing. Again, these are clickers. Um, again, that's a the Delta thing. We already went through that. This is a bait that I have not had yet. I am going to try it. It is called Chick Magnet. It's supposed to be like balsa wood. This is fire craw color. I really just wanted the red. Again, uh, for Delta and a little bit of Clear Lake, but mainly Delta. And here is a silent version for its side vibe and the super craw. Demiki Vaults. This is actually, if I can get it out, it is the bladed style. There we go. Now we can see it. It is the tail spin version. And this is in real shad. Uh, there's another color. It's like a hologram something I was going to buy, but it was back ordered for a while. And uh, they were holding back orders. I want to do this video because there is some stuff inside there that I want to use tomorrow at Berryessa. So, um, about these tail spins, I ran into a situation recently where just a regular blade bait wasn't enough. I needed that flash and I didn't have a very good color selection. Um, another Fritz Side 5. Bass Union Buzz Baits. I am trying these. Everything else I have got from Bass Union, whether it's darter heads, um, jigs, shirts, does not matter. Everything I've got from them has been quality and has taken a beating. Oh, underspins. Uh, man, I, I could probably keep going on all those. Um, if you aren't familiar with Bass Union, he is out of Oroville. Check him out. Dude's got some really good stuff. Um, these buzz baits look like they have some really good hooks. I've seen videos of these on Clear Lake and they can take Clear Lake fish and they can take Delta fish. So uh, that's nice and beefy on them. Enough for me to uh, definitely break into the game and give it a try. Um, another Fritz side and a t-shirt. Because everybody needs another t-shirt next up um what's uh meeny miny let's go with the expensive one it's a really expensive one and um well shoot it's expensive and small um that only means one thing fellas one thing at all and that is that it is something good delicious and definitely gonna be fun and that is right lose reels I got a TP1 SHA this is a 7 5 to 1 tournament pro I actually have several of these this is my go-to reel for crankbaits underspins Anything that's not too light, but not heavy, cast a mile, super smooth. You can throw a 3XD on this or just a regular 3 Series on this, and you can also turn around and throw heavy baits on it. And it, uh, you just simple adjustments, does not backlash. Really, really enjoy this reel. Uh, next up is this right here which is a TLH 1SH bait caster that is the lose hyper mag um buddy of mine that I fish with that I'm about to fish Berryessa with is actually a big proponent of hyper mag and um one thing that I am noticing right now is it is obviously lighter. Like, I don't even feel like I'm holding a reel. It's ridiculous how much lighter this Hypermag is. Um, that's kind of ridiculous. This isn't a very heavy reel at all, and this is even lighter. Um, that's kind of crazy. Super smooth, buttery smooth. We'll uh, 
I have to put some line on this and see how it goes. Um, this will be my only shiny reel, so if you pay attention to my videos, you'll be able to know when I have this one picked up. Not 100% sure what I'm going to put it on, but um, it's 7.5 to 1, and it's going to go on something. And it's probably going to cast like a dream. That was a quick box. Quick $400 for two rods, or two, uh, two reels. Next up, let's, um, um, let's go this one. Let's go another expensive one. This one's a heavier box. Um, I actually don't remember what's in this because I placed these orders and Tackle Warehouse changed up their 20% off sale. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. This box has all the glide baits in it. This is a Flow Glider 130 in, I don't even know, Ghost Shad Scales. Um, I bought this because it's transparent. That's really what I wanted was a transparent bait. If you are not familiar with this, Milliken makes a video where he talks about this bait and the fact that it is not the style of bait that he likes. It is not the style of bait I like, but with a simple modification and that is cut this joint here and shave it off flat with 90 degree angle with that part of the joint right there and this bait wakes up it is ridiculous you can chop it um, you can glide it you can burn it it comes out flat everything works out good on this um, next up color same thing is shad burst again i uh wanted a clearer bait this has some silver in it that nice shine in it it's kind of baby bassish it's really what i was was wanting to go with baby bassish uh it's a pretty color kind of a oddball color but pretty again i will be cutting this down 100 percent next up gantrell jr in a bluegill color yeah rt bluegill um comanche this is 100 percent for comanche comanche has this color bluegill in it and it's specifically why i got this so that i can throw this at the dam on the docks near the trees whatever now that the water level is up next up is an s waiver in I believe this is Tackle Warehouse Phantom Trout. Yep. I uh, got this because it's, again, transparent. I don't have, like, a silvery color in my glides. Um, little tip for these. I run, I take my knife, and I actually will shave the inside of this, this side. I will shave that down because you can get some paint run and paint edges on there. You cut that paint off of there, and this bait is very consistent especially for at the price of it. Um, and next up is the big Gantrell. This is the regular Gantrell in baby bass color. Um, I think that's actually, yeah, baby bass. Um, I prefer the bigger one over the smaller one, um, but they don't make the other color in the bigger one. And that's actually the size of Comanche's uh, bluegill for the most part. But this, will actually is the reason why i'm opening it up i want to throw this at Berryessa on the east side this is the whole reason why i'm doing this video right now next up is river seas s waiver and light trout this is a restock already had this in the past i have basically picked them off on poles or casted them off. Actually, I don't think I've casted one off, but I've definitely picked off poles on Clear Lake with this. It is definitely um, what we call the banana bait. And uh, it works. Definitely don't sleep on this one. Next up is reels. These are the same exact thing. These are President or Precedent, depending on how you want to pronounce it, the XT. If you are unfamiliar with the XTs, 
What the difference is, the XT is a higher gear ratio. This is actually the equivalent of what they say basically is an eight to one, even though it says six two to one. If you actually look at the whole gearing and everything, it's an eight to one reel. So the whole point of this is, I'm gonna put them on my drop shot rod. So in between casts, I can burn this in and cast it out. I will say this, this burns in so fast that your drop shot will spin. Um, when that drop shot spins, every once in a while you need to take the bait off of the hook, cast your drop shot out, reel it in, burn it in a couple of times, put the bait back on, go back to fishing, straightens it right out. Um, I will definitely deal with being able to, or having to do that every couple hours just so that I can have that higher speed so I can reel it in, pitch that back out again, and actually hit my target because I already missed it two or three times. So, again, both the same thing, both Flugers. Um, I only buy Fluger spinning rods or spinning reels, and I only buy Lou's baitcasters. Uh, not sponsored whatsoever as much as I'd love that. Um, next up, let's go with a low dollar one. We went with two high dollar ones. Let's go with a low dollar one. It's a one arm drag this over here. This one right here is heavy. And this one, I believe, is the other reason why I wanted to open this today, and it is. So, what I got here is a 3700 Plano with no dividers at all. This is ideal, absolutely ideal for drop shot baits or Ned rig baits or whatever. You can actually put them in here, stack them this way, or stack them this way, depending on how wide your back your bags are. But they, you can fit all of them in here, no problem, with plenty of room. Close it up. Uh, the one I have currently that I'm using, I actually cut all the dividers out and the lid's kind of weak. This is a replacement for that, so I can get a better one. Let's put that over there. Next up is another big one. This is a deep dish version with no dividers. Basically same reason. I want to basically put bulk worms in there, bulk baits, and I don't need dividers. I will figure out where they are. They'll, they kind of self stack each other when they're filed in there. So that works out. Next up is Bass Mafia's let me get this crinkling out of the way. Bass Mafia's coffin box. I currently have the 3600 version of this for drop shot and all my other odds and hooks and weights and stuff. And it's really good at not letting stuff jump dividers. Um, every once in a while you'll get a jumper, but for the most part they stay where they're at. The whole point of this is I have underspins and uh, replacement heads for my A-Rigs, Dirty Jigs heads, and they're jumping. And every time I go to take them out, half of them are in the wrong spot and I have to rearrange them, um, including beast hooks are even jumping. So this, so that I can eliminate those from jumping. I do highly recommend it. It is not cheap whatsoever, it is not cheap. But I do recommend getting a quality box like this for your terminal tackle. As much as I don't like doing things on the expensive side, this was definitely going to be worth it. Um, this right here is actually for Brian. This is not mine. Um, don't tell his wife. I doubt she watches this. She's probably already asleep by now if she is. So, next up, some replacement scissors because I cut some things that you weren't supposed to cut and it kind of made them dull. So uh, these are really, really good for the boat. Short angle or short ends, so you can't cut too much of what you don't want to cut. 
and it has really good thick handles on them if you actually grab a hold of things these are my favorite scissors that's why i'm buying a new pair next up is some cutters some compression cutters i recently ran across have seen enough videos recently that basically if you hook a, one of the hooks the swim bait hooks the beast hooks whatever it is into your body anywhere you can't really get it out the only way to get it out is to basically shove it all the way through cut it pull it out i didn't have anything that cuts those punch hooks beast hooks any of that stuff so i bought these these will go in the tool section just in case for the boat have not tried them just had good reviews for them okay next up is oh let me pick you back up here next up is a really heavy bait that has a lot of plastic in it and when i say a lot of plastic i mean this is an entire order worth a t-shirt of just see here's the t-shirt pure and utter kytex it is all kytex um mainly it is restocking and thread fin shad you can see right here, it is all thread fin shad. And that was horrible camera angle because these boxes are taller. I apologize. That is all thread fin shad. Again, thread fin shad. What, is, what do we got here? Rainbow shad. I have recently come to like this color. Don't tell Brian. I know he's listening to this, but don't tell Brian. He doesn't need to know. Um, that is really good for clear water. Let's see if I can get another one. Rainbow shad. Okay. So, uh, thread fin shad is kind of that brighter. Rainbow shad is here. And then uh, a little bit darker than that is the bluegill flash that I run, which I don't think I have any in here because I'm completely stocked on that. And then uh, lighter than that is ghost rainbow. And then lighter than that is sight flash the whole point of these four colors is it covers every realm from dark to light to bright i don't really need to run any other colors if they're not eating this four i'm probably not throwing an underspin or an a-rig i'm just going to move on so uh these are 2.8s 3.3s 3.8s that's really what I'm running the most of. I don't really run the four threes, but every once in a while, so I don't need a giant stock. These are again, rainbow shad, thread fin shad, rainbow thread fin, rainbow thread fin, thread fin, thread fin. Oh, here we go. Here's ghost rainbow. Ghost rainbow in that lighter. Let's uh, get a thread fin. Oh, I do have bluegill, bluegill flash. Look at that. I do have all of them. I will put them in order of what I am talking about. If I can get all three colors. Dropped it. Lost it. Bring it back. Okay, so if you look. These four colors. Okay, you got dark. You got medium. You got the lighter. And then you got the really light and then you have one more color which is the all white i feel like these five if you imagine the uh, fifth one being there these cover every spectrum that you're going to need you don't have to buy nine million different colors these are the tried and trues that i run across that is bluegill flash threadfin rainbow shad ghost rainbow and sight flash which i have plenty from last year because i didn't get to fish clear lake and again these are all kytex moving on to the last the final the one box that is the biggest one apologize for a second i'm gonna have to put you down to pick it up no oh. 
All right. Let's tuck you nice and tight here. This box has the very first order that I made for Black Friday. I do not like that they broke Black Friday up into all the different weeks. I understand why they did it to generate more orders and to uh, give their stocking people a break because otherwise they're stocking a ton of stuff very quickly. And a t-shirt in a horrible red color. First up, Crawdaddy and Rage Bug. Rage Bug has become my number one punch bait um, a lot of pros talk about it, and I just thought, oh, maybe they're sponsored. And then I started hearing some pros who are not sponsored talk about it. So I picked them up and tried them, and um, definitely a durable bait. Definitely lasts. Uh, definitely gets bit. Have zero problems with these. Uh, it's become my number one punch bait. The number two is the um, uh, the one that everyone speaks of that I am blanking on right now. Maybe I can think of it. Uh, this is in crawdaddy color. You can see it's kind of a, like a swirl on there. Okay, this is Delta Red. It is very bright. This does not work very often, but when it does work, it is on fire. Um, let's see. What is what's this color? Watermelon Red Flake. This is the number one generic color that I throw the most. This is probably the most average color that you can get bit from like the the um like a day-to-day -day, everyday use is watermelon red punching in the delta uh these are oh there's another color these should be all duplicates uh these are actually the same falcon lake craw this is if you want a little bit darker a little bit more sparkle um this is kind of like a darker version of that watermelon red it definitely come in the case uh, when the other ones don't get bit or if I'm getting short struck, this one brings out the rest of it There's another one What's this watermelon red and different sticker same color different sticker? Okay, watermelon red. I don't know if you guys can tell but I really like watermelon red. There's watermelon red again Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Here we go last one for Delta red and another watermelon red. Berkeley General. I've heard a lot about this. Um, this is a watermelon candy. It's a kind of an off watermelon candy. I don't know if you notice, like slightly different. Um, I've heard a lot about these Berkeley Generals that they're that they're really good in wind. I'm buying them to try them. We will see what happens. If they stick around, you'll find out. Now, this right here. The name, the myth, the legend. Sorry, Steve. Watermelon candy, flick shake. There should be 10 of these in here. I have bags of them. But you know, if I'm placing an order and it's Black Friday, I have to buy them. So I definitely get watermelon candy in the Jack All Flick Shake. There is something about this bait that is magic. I can't explain it. I just know that people have picked it up behind me and they have definitely got bit from it. Um, I will be throwing those out as we come across. Next up, watermelon dawn, or <laughs> watermelon dawn, wow. Morning Dawn Chartreuse Tail in the Robo. Tried and true. This is Berryessa, Comanche, just any of those clear water lakes. You definitely have to have this color. If you don't, uh, you need to get it. You need to at least try it. They definitely like it in that clear water. And uh, there should be five of these bad boys in there somewhere. Now, next up, this is the last one. Oh, I think that's the last one. Cool. Next up, MM3. For those of you who don't know, I am not a fan of MM3 until this year. Uh, Big John, who I just fished with in the last Barry Essa tournament, he loves 
MM3 to a passion. And uh, he's kind of the reason why I picked this up. So I started picking this up for Beria, or for Delta, I'm sorry. Delta picked it up at Hogan. I picked it up at a couple different places and it has converted me. I bought some packages. Thank you, Big John. I definitely uh, am cracking into this and I'm getting bit on it and I'm starting to understand the, the draw of this. Next up, we got Spunk Shad. Uh, I got two different reasons for this. This is Chatterbait Trailers and then also a little bit of Hover Strolling. These are really good baits for Hover Strolling and uh, mainly it's, it is Chatterbait Trailers though. This goes along with my Citrus Shad uh, custom Z-Man that I throw. This should blend in nice and pretty with it. Um, another MM3. This is a Bass Reaper Bait Coat. I actually am trying this. Never had this before. I bought it because of the name, Bass Reaper. There's a specific reason our club is Bass Reaper. I figured, eh, I'll try it. Kind of looks like a dream shot. Kind of looks like a uh, Smalley Smasher, a couple of those other ones. Just a drop shot bait. I really like the color though. That's a badass color as I'm flashing at reflections at you. Um, it's definitely pretty cool. I like it. I dig it. Um, here's another Spunk Shad, an electric shad. Same reason, uh, drop shot, hover strolling. This is a little more hover strolling though, but it definitely will go, I'm not sure it's drop shot. <laughs> Chatterbait. Been talking for too long here, guys. Uh, three and a half inch. That's what these are. They go really well with that custom. This is definitely, for the chatterbait. Um, this is Blizzard Gizzard. I just wanted that white. That's really what I wanted. Um, Demiki. The Armor Shad has definitely been getting bit on drop shot when they're focused on small baits. This is Pro Blue. I wanted that translucent. Um, that's more of the same, that's more of the same. These are three inch. They make a smaller one, but I don't really like the smaller one. I like the three inch. I want a little bit of a presence, although I don't need it to be a giant presence. Same colors. Here's Armor Shad in PB Silver. This is actually the color that I get bit on the most, is the PB Silver. Um, so it definitely is a color that I wanted to re-up. And I got them all in three inch and they're two tones. They're pretty, check them out if you haven't got them. Yamamoto Baits. This is a hula grub, a spider grub. I don't know what you want to call it. There's a ton, tons of different ones. This is smoke with black and purple. I need to get back into jig fishing. My, my rod is currently getting repaired. My jig rod is currently getting repaired at Todd's Rods in Benicia. And he's knocking a new eye on there. If you haven't looked up Todd's Rods, definitely look him up for your rod repairs. Uh, he does a really good job at it. Decent price. Uh, it's where I take all of my rods and where I'll be getting this one back before I start throwing jigs again. Next up, Shad Shape Worm. This is actually called Monster Bass or something like that. It's the only one with numbers. 306, 187 with Chartreuse. This in three inch and four inch. This color's got some magic to it. I got this tip from one of the guys in the club, Matt Atten, who I'm fishing with tomorrow at Berryessa. Um, he likes this color. He talked me into it, or actually I hit him up for it because I had been ignoring him, but he kept schooling me in the back of the boat with him. So I looked him up and yes, these are all the same exact color because I cannot find them local in these sizes in three inch and four inch. Same thing we already saw, almost 
to the end here guys almost there this is another general green pumpkin and watermelon it's actually a two-tone um cinco again this is a trier for delta if this works cool i just need something i can throw in the wind without a weight last but not least this is a buzz frog i'm going to try um i haven't even touched this in real life so let's pop it out oh it's actually kind of nice i have another one that i actually don't like the um legs are kind of gooey it's all one piece body and if you let it touch other things it melts it in half not as stretchy as the other one but um yeah definitely not a bad bait as you can see, I have a mess, a big old mess that I need to clean up. The good news is I'm only pulling a couple things out of that pile to go fishing tomorrow because it's almost eight o'clock and I got to get ready for tomorrow. So I'm going to pull my swim baits out of there. I'm only going to Berryessa and I'm only throwing big baits or a rigs when I get bored. And uh, hopefully they chew, hopefully they bite. I'm not even bringing drop shot, no finesse. It's hero or zero for tomorrow. That mess is tomorrow's problem. That mess is tomorrow's problem. Hope you like the video. Every year, Black Friday, this is what I do. This is my stock. If you like it, leave comments down below. If there's any baits that I'm missing out on that you have not seen me throw, let me know in the comments. And until next time, I hope you get them.